Hi, my name is Tracy McMullen, and this YouTube video will focus on which tool should I use to manage my metadata and what tool should I use for data integration. There are some key questions that you have to ask yourself before you try to figure out what tool is right for you. You need to ask yourself, what products do I own? Am I on the cloud? For each product, how many applications do I have? What version am I on? And when am I planning to upgrade? Do I have the requirement for sharing hierarchies across systems and applications? Do my business users manage hierarchies or is IT maintaining those hierarchies? And who do I ultimately want to own that particular process? Who's maintaining the data integration? Is it business user focused or IT focused? And again, ultimately, who would you like to own and maintain that process? Do you have hierarchies or metadata that exists in other systems or data warehouse? For data, where's the data stored? Where do I need to load data from and what applications do I need to load it to? Do I have mapping or transformation requirements? Who owns those mappings and maintains those mappings? Is drill through required? Based on those questions, that will help you figure out which tool should you use. And it's only a little confusing because Oracle offers a number of different options and alternatives to manage your metadata. Now we have the leading, market leading, best practice, completely awesome solution in data relationship management or DRM. This solution focuses on the business user and it allows you to maintain your hierarchies, your master data, your attributes across any system or any application that you own. It is not specific to Hyperion or Oracle EPM. It can really go to any system. DRM provides validations and business rules, so as users are making changes to your hierarchies or your master data, you can feel confident in the changes that they are making. It also provides very granular security in the process so that only certain users can change either their portion of the hierarchy or their set of properties that they are able to change. You can perform mappings within DRM and you have the ability to export out dimensions and then share those across other systems. You can also import dimensions as well. And again, key point is that it does support all systems. Now, we also have another kind of the strategic direction forward for Oracle in moving data is FDMEE, or Financial Data Quality Management Enterprise Edition. And again, this tool is kind of designed for the business user. And what it does is it actually moves data from source to source. So DRM and FDMEE can work very well together where you maintain your hierarchies and make all of the changes and the attributes within DRM and then use FDMEE to then push it to any system. So you can push hierarchies and master data to your planning, your HFM applications, or again, if you need to push it into some of your other systems um, and ERPs, those are possible as well. FDME provides drillback capabilities to the sources that you load in through FDMEE, and then again, directly back into ERP systems if you have that requirement. Now you can also do mappings in FDME and that kind of has a guided user interface. So there is a little bit of overlap between DRM and FDME when it comes to mappings and you can decide what's the most appropriate place for my requirements and where I'm gonna manage that information. Coming soon, so in today, which is September, 2015, we don't currently have the version to be able to export out dimensions with FDME, but that's soon to be coming, rumored to be coming in the very next release. And again, FDME really supports all systems. Now, if you're talking EPMA, EPMA manages hierarchies much like DRM does. However, it is really focused on the Hyperion admin, really only working with the Hyperion hierarchies and properties. It can do some application creation. It allows you to import in dimensions only. You can't really export out dimensions used in EPMA. And it used to have a data sync capability. Again, that's going away with FDMEE. FDMEE is the strategic forward for syncing data or moving data between your EPM applications. The other thing about EPMA to keep in mind is that some of the new features in Hyperion planning are not supported for your EPMA applications. So if you have an EPMA deployed Hyperion planning application, you may not be able to take advantage of those new features. Another option that we have available to us is ODI. So ODI is more of a IT-driven ETL tool. 
and it moves data. So it's a, a data movement source to source. It's not actually maintaining any hierarchies or metadata, but it does allow you to move them from source to source. It's currently supported in the 11.124 versions, but the future for those adapters is a little unclear. And if because, again, FDMEE is the strategic direction forward. It does allow you to move hierarchies and data across and between our EPM systems and other applications, and we can export out dimensions from SBase and HFM. Now, if I'm a Hyperion planning person, I also have the ability to manage my metadata using the outline load utility, which becomes free with my Hyperion planning purchase. We have the ability, and again, it's just the planning admin only, which just for Hyperion planning, but if you need to pull a dimension or update some of your planning metadata, this is a great simple tool if you haven't fully implemented DRM or FDME and you're pulling from another source and you need to build your hierarchies, you can do this using the Hyperion planning outline load utility. There is a, a web interface, there's a command line version. You can connect to SQL sources or you can import in flat files. And you do have the ability to export out dimensions using the outline load utility. Now new in planning 11.124, you actually can use the simplified planning user interface. Again, we're talking planning only. Just for the planning administrator, you can import and export your planning hierarchies. It's uh, available over the web, and you can create scheduled jobs through the simplified UI. Today, it's just a flat file for this particular connection, and you do have the ability to export out the dimensions. Now, if I'm an S-based person, I have a couple of different options as well. I have the ability to use dimension build rules to build my dimensions in my S-based applications. This is really for the S-based admin only and only for your S-based applications. You can connect to SQL sources directly or flat files, and you have the ability using these rules files to build your dimensions and load data. There's not a great way for S-based, and you can't use these rule files to export out S-based dimensions. S-based Studio is another alternative. SBase Studio allows you to connect to a SQL source where you maybe have a MART and then use those existing tables that are populated in a star schema to generate your SBase cube. SBase Studio does provide drill through capabilities to the star schema that you're loading from, but it also allows you to drill to anywhere. So it's a great way for your SBase only cubes if you have drill through requirements. Now, if I'm on the cloud and I'm using PCBS or planning budgeting uh, cloud services. What metadata tools do I have available to me? So again, you can use DRM to continue to manage your hierarchies. That would be an on-premise solution. And then you can use data management, which is really FDME, to pull in those hierarchies and upload them into your cloud application. You would have drawback capabilities. You have the mapping capabilities that's available to you with the, the data management or the FDME option. The other option that you have is the simplified planning user interface. So again, this is really just planning admins only and for your planning applications, but it's another way to manage your metadata, your hierarchies for your planning on the cloud solution. Now, there are a few tools that are no longer supported or are not the strategic direction forward. So if you're using these tools, you need to put a game plan in place for migrating to one of the alternatives that we've discussed just before. Hyperion application link has been gone for a while. FDM, if you're using FDM, you're going to, when you upgrade to 11.124, have to migrate to FDMEE, Financial Data Quality Management Enterprise Edition. ERPI is no longer going to be supported because really that's kind of included in FDMEE. The DIM connectors using the Informatica products are no longer supported. EPMA Data Sync is not going to be supported because, again, FDMEE provides that functionality. And then, as we mentioned before, EPMA is just a little bit up in the air because a lot of the, the new planning features right now are not available for the EPMA deployed application. So definitely keep EPMA on your radar screen and watch for what's going to be happening with that product. Now, what makes part of figuring out which tool you should use a little bit confusing is there are some overlapping areas between some of these tools. Now, the three main efforts that you're looking for EPM applications is how am I gonna manage my hierarchies? How am I gonna move data between applications? And how am I gonna create and manage my applications? Ideally, there would be one tool, one answer. 
But unfortunately, it's not going to be just one solution or one tool that you use. And it's going to be figuring out what's the right tool for the job and which one makes sense for me, because it could be different across different customers and clients. Now we have EPMA, again, whose future is a little gray right now, but this particular tool allows us to manage our hierarchies for our EPM applications only, and allows us to create applications. We have DRM, whose sole purpose in life is to manage hierarchies and properties and master data, and then sync that with any and all systems that you have. Now, there is a teeny bit of overlap into data movement because you can do some direct connect activities in DRM to relational sources. I have outline load utility, which is really not a hierarchy management solution. Essentially what you're doing is you maybe have a flat file or you have a SQL table that has a hierarchy already created, and then it's moving data into your planning application. So while it's kind of building your dimensions within Hyperion planning, it's not really managing them now. So it's kind of this pseudo hierarchy build process that's really just moving data from another source. We have FTME, which is truly a data movement tool. We have ODI, which is a more IT technical solution for moving data, a full-blown ETL solution. We have S-based load rules, again, which moves data into our application and builds dimensions and loads data for our S-based only applications and loading data for our Hyperion planning applications. We also have SBA Studio, which again is not really managing hierarchies, but it's assuming I've got a star schema, I've got a source that has my hierarchy information, and then it helps me build that within my SBA only applications, and then it moves data because I can load data to those applications, and it is actually creating those SBA applications for us. Now, if I go back, this was our slide from 2010. What's our recommendations? And it's very interesting to see kind of what we recommended back in 2010 to what we're recommending today. So what are our picks today for version 11.124? If you have the requirement to maintain your dimensions and hierarchies in a common library for your EPM applications only, DRM, absolutely the right solution, and will work and do that to meet that requirement. Technically, EPMA will do that as well for your EPM applications only. The main consideration or negative is that the new features that are available for Hyperion planning are not supported in EPMA deployed applications. If you need to maintain your dimensions and hierarchies and master data for all of your applications and all of your systems, DRM is the tool to do that. Now, if you have the requirement that you need to load and extract metadata and data from any source or target, FTME is the solution. Now, there is an asterisk because there are a couple of things related to FDME that's coming. It's not available today in 11.124. There should be a patch coming out soon that will add in some of these features. So absolutely, FDME is the strategic direction for loading data from any source to any target, both data and metadata. All of the FDM functionality that we love with the pre-validated and the audit tracking and the mappings um, to EPM targets, FDME provides and meets those requirements. If we need to load data from an ERP source to an EPM target, FDME is the strategic direction forward to be able to do that. Drill through requirements, we can actually drill through using FDME. SBase Studio is another alternative, and then OBIE, setting up some drill through capabilities is another option as well that's more of a reporting solution, but that can provide some drill through experiences for your end user. Now, if you need a business driven maintained process, so a non IT process, that's again where we're looking at FDME DRM. ODI is more of an, an IT technical tool. So if you do have IT support and they want to continue to support that data movement, then ODI may be a consideration. Again, the only question is whether they're going to continue the direct connectors for ODI into our EPM applications. Now, the last kind of requirements, you know what? I'm just keeping it simple. I have one planning application. I have one S-based application. You know, do I need FDME or DRM? I mean, maybe you might, but you also have your keep it simple classic tools like the outline load utility, like your S-based load rules. So those are always going to be an option and available to you in, in the environments. Now, kind of what's our future prediction? Again, I think really Oracle is going to focus and we're going to see a lot of effort and development and strategic new features around FDME, DRM, and I do think that they're going to continue to support some of the Keep It Simple classic tools as well. 
This concludes our YouTube video on which tool should I use to manage my metadata and master data, which tool should I be using for data integration.